Hey everyone, in this video we will understand about the scan disscheduling algorithm and the other name of this scan algorithm is elevator algorithm. So before proceeding forward, let me tell you, I have made a full playlist of the operating system. You can find it on my channel and you can also find the videos on the other computer science related topics like C programming, computer organization, lead code solutions and so on. So please do watch them. So let's start with our scan disscheduling algorithm. So in the previous video, we have discussed about the first come first serve algorithm and the SSTF algorithm that is shortest seek time first algorithm. So if you have not watched the videos of this algorithm, you can find the link of this algorithm in the operating system playlist. You can find the link in the video description below. So let's start with our today's algorithm that is scan algorithm. So basically in this video, I will tell you what is scan algorithm and how we can apply this algorithm on an example. And in the next videos, we will understand what are the various characteristics okay or the properties of this scan algorithm and how it is better than the other algorithm okay so let's start so basically this algorithm actually works in such a way so that it starts from one point so let's say if your read write head is at let's say cylinder number x okay and it will start from this particular uh, cylinder or particular current position of the read write head and then it will go in one particular direction Okay, it will go in one particular direction that is the main point in this scan algorithm. So let's say the read write head is moving in this direction. Okay, so it will go in this direction and it will keep on servicing the request in the request queue. Okay, in this way. Okay, so any request which is coming in between the X and the 99 cylinder, it will go on servicing that request. Okay, and the read write head will finally come to the last track number that is 99 okay after that your read write head will reverse its direction and it will now move in this direction okay and in between whatever request will be coming it will be servicing them okay and it will going into this direction so on okay and let's say after uh, going to let's say zero position there are some more requests pending then it will again reverse its direction and it will go in this direction okay and so on okay so again if there are more uh, requests pending then it will reverse its direction and then again it will go in this direction okay so you can see it is like scanning the request okay it is first going in one direction handling the request or servicing the request then it is going into the other direction and servicing the request okay so like a lift okay you can say you have elevator or the lift in your uh, you can say various malls okay or you can say in your uh, housing complex there are various lifts so like uh, lift or the elevator go in one direction first okay then it go in the other direction then again it go uh, upward then again it go downward okay so on so in the same way this algorithm is also handling the request okay so like lift take the people in between okay like people will be coming okay and when lift is going in let's say this direction okay it will be picking the people okay and then it will reverse its direction and then all the people who will be coming in this direction okay it will be picking those uh, people okay so here uh, the read write head is picking the various request okay so like an elevator, this scan algorithm is actually scanning the request and it is working in the same way. That's why this scan algorithm is called as elevator algorithm. So actually before applying the scan algorithm, we should know two things. First is the current position of the read write head. Okay. And this uh, thing or this information we have seen in the uh, previous examples also like first come first serve and the SSTF also. Okay. The main thing that we should know in the scan algorithm is direction of the head movement in which it is moving okay so in the question we will be given that in which direction our read right head is moving okay so that is the uh, main information that we need in scan algorithm okay so let's apply this algorithm with the help of example then you will be able to understand it much better so here i have taken the same example that we have taken in the fcfs and the sstf so we have a hard disk which has total 200 cylinders that is cylinder starts from the zero to 199 okay and the request queue is having all these slender numbers so these are the io request okay or disk io request the initial position of the read write heads is given as 53 at slender that means our read write head is currently at 53 at position okay and the previous position of the read write heads is given as 26 slender that means before coming to the 53 at slender 
our read write head was at 26th cylinder that means something like here okay 26 so that means from 26 my read write head come to the 53 at position that means my read write head is moving in this direction okay from lower cylinder number to the higher cylinder number right so in this way i have been given the direction of my read write head right so this is one of the way to give uh, to be like telling you that what is the direction of your read write head okay or simply the question can say your read write head moving towards the higher track numbers or higher cylinder number in this way also you can be given the direction of the read write head okay so we have to tell what are the total number of head movements okay that will be done by the read write head or total number of cylinders traverse and the second thing we have to find is average number of head movements okay so basically our read write head is currently at 53 at position okay here now we can see that we have to move in this direction right so we have to pick the io request from this request queue in such a manner so that the request should come in this direction okay that means after 53 what can be the next request which is coming in this direction so here you can see 98 is also coming in this direction right 183 okay then 122 124 then 65 67 all these requests which are actually greater than 53 they will be coming in this direction right so how i will like uh, pick the request from this io uh, request or the request queue so first i will be going to the 65 right so i will be first picking 65 right now after this what io request can i pick i can pick 67 right so okay so i pick 67 so this is 65 this is 67 after that 98 can be picked up so 98 i have picked right and after that you can see we have 122 we have 124 so i can pick 122 right we have 122 then 124 124 okay now after that we have 183 which is coming in this way only right 183 okay now you can see we are left with two requests 37 and 14 and our head is moving in this direction right but we can see 37 and this 14 they will be on the other direction okay they are actually in the other direction of this read right head currently read right head is moving in this direction but 37 and 14 they are actually present in the opposite direction so what will happen so actually i have to reverse the position of the read right head so that i can come in this direction right okay now here one thing that is to note in scan algorithm is the last request in this direction was 183 as per our input output request queue right but scan algorithm actually say that you have to go to the end of the uh, you can say last cylinder that means the last cylinder in our hard disk is 199 right in this direction okay if we talk about the this direction the last cylinder number is 199 although this request is not present in this io request queue but scan algorithm say you have to go till the last cylinder number so i will go to 199 also according to scan algorithm okay although this request is not present here now after this i will change the direction of the read write head okay now i will go in this direction okay okay so while i am going in this direction what are the requests that are pending 37 and 14 so basically i'll reverse my direction okay and i will pick this 37 okay so 37 is the first request that is coming in this way okay so 37 is service now now i'll pick 14 so i'll pick 14 okay now after this my all the requests have been serviced okay so i'll stop here okay now i will not go to this zero okay i will not go to this zero why because there are no pending uh, requests now okay so i'll stop here okay but let's say after some point of time okay in practical scenario let's say there is some request uh, 38 okay 38 comes okay let's say at t equal to 5 pm and let's say currently it is 4 o'clock in my clock let's say okay when i am servicing this 14 it is 4 pm okay so what i will do this 38 is actually in 
other direction here right so i am going in this direction but 38 will be serviced when i will go in this direction right so at that time only what i will do i will go to this zero okay and then i will come to 38 okay why i am coming to zero because according to cm algorithm if there are pending requests in the other direction okay then you have to go to the last you can say cylinder number okay when i was at 14 i have to service 38 also okay that has come in my request queue so for 38 i have to go into the other direction that is the direction so what i will do first i will test the last cylinder number that is zero okay in this uh, particular direction and then i will come to 38 okay so then only i will come to this zero okay, okay? so right now this 38 was not present in this uh, request queue so i will not go after this 14 okay i'll stop at 14. now let's talk about the total head movements so total head movements will be 331 how so here you can see i was initially at 53 cylinder okay and in this direction i have to subtract 199 minus 53 so 199 minus 53 okay plus this 199 minus 14 199 minus 14 okay so it will be like 146 that is subtraction of this then subtraction of this is 185 so total i got 331 okay so you can say 331 cylinders okay i have to traverse okay this number of uh, head movements will be there according to scan algorithm on this given example okay and if we find the average head movements so average will be the division of 331 okay 331 divided by the number of these uh, cylinders so these are actually total eight cylinders so 331 divided by eight so it is 41.375 okay so these were the total number of head movements and average head movement okay so now if i uh, change this question so i hope you have understood this question okay so now let's uh, change this question let's say if you are given that again the cylinders are same 0 to 199 but the direction is this okay that is your read right head is moving towards the lower cylinder numbers so now how you will solve this question and what will be the total head movement and the average head movements so basically currently you are at 53 at cylinder okay this is given in question okay but the question is the direction is in this okay so how you will pick all these requests so basically in this direction whatever request will be coming on the way the read write head will be servicing those requests okay so in this direction you can see the cylinder number which are lesser than 53 are you can say 14 and 37 only right so you will like take 37 first then you will service 14 right okay now after that all the pending requests they are actually in the other direction okay in this direction right okay so for servicing this request what you have to do the read write head it has to actually change its direction right okay but before changing the direction this read write head will first go to the last cylinder number that is zero in this direction okay because there are some pending requests so it will go to this zero right okay as i have told you just before okay now after this i will go in this direction and i will service the request so read right head will move in this direction and you can see what are the first requests that will come in this way so you can see 65 then 67 right so you can see from here also okay it is like quite obvious also so 65 then you will pick 67 okay then you can see you will pick 98 then you have 122 right then you will pick 124 okay and after 124 what is the last request 183 183 okay okay because they are because now there are no more pending request in this io request queue okay so you will stop here only okay you will not go to 199 okay if there are more pending request in this direction again then you will go to 199 otherwise you will not go right so this is the uh, scan algorithm if direction is in this way okay so now what will be the total number of head movements so you can see total number of head movements will be this one 53 minus 0 okay 53 minus 0 plus 183 
minus 0. 183 minus 0. So it will be 53 plus 183 total to 36 cylinders. Okay. So these number of head movements will be there, or you can say total 236 cylinders will be traversed. Okay. So here you can see if we change the direction, then your calculation of the total head movement will change. Okay. Here it is 331 and here it is 236. Right. The same way your average head movements will also change. So it will be 236, but you have to divide by 8. Okay. And accordingly, you can just find 236 divided by 8 is actually 29.5. Okay, so I hope you have understood that how we have applied this scan algorithm. The main thing that you have to uh, remember in this algorithm is you have to go to the uh, last request in a particular direction if there are more pending requests in the other direction. Okay, so before changing the direction, you have to go to the last request. Okay, but after you have serviced the uh, last IO request according to the given uh, request queue, then you need not to go to the last cylinder number in that. Uh, direction after that particular last request okay so this was our scan algorithm which is actually similar to our you can say elevator okay real life elevator so yeah if you have any question please write down into the comment box and please like and share this video subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for further notification see in the next video and we will see what are the various characteristics of this algorithm and we will analyze this algorithms okay how it is better than other algorithm so till then goodbye